The world of leather. Wrap yourself in true luxury. The leather warehouse. Oh, I see you came back for me. No, my leather jacket. Corinthian leather. Of course, why not the best? Leather. It's one of the most luxurious fabrics in the world with a price tag to match. But when you see the word leather on a label, do you really know what you're getting? The store may swear black and blue. It's genuine leather, I swear it's real. <laughs> but what does that actually mean? Businesses use all kinds of words like soft or real or genuine to pass off inferior materials as leather. The most common are composites like bicast leather, PU leather and bonded leather. Did somebody say bondage leather? <laughs> Instead of one piece of animal hide, these materials are made from leather byproducts, sometimes combined with a synthetic substance like polyurethane. Back in 2010, the ACCC busted fantastic furniture. Oh, so that's why you're here. Also, my tastes are very singular. It's what you do, it's what you see. They caught them advertising bonded leather furniture with lines like The luxury of leather for less and euro high when they actually contained just 10% leather fibres. Most major furniture makers are phasing out the use of bonded leather, but you could still be unlucky. Like Rolina, she bought a pricey set of couches that she was assured were leather. But when they started to disintegrate, she found out that they were actually made from bonded leather. That's the trouble with bonded leather. It just doesn't last, and it's still common in things like clothing. You'd be pretty upset to find that the expensive leather jacket you bought isn't the real McCoy. I feel so cheap. Wearing leather doesn't make you bikey, mate. Selling myth does. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Jibba! So, how do you tell if it's the real deal? Pinky swears? So it was 200... Thanks. What's actual leather? Full grain leather. It's the full thickness of the hide, closest to the natural skin of the animal. Oh yeah, you're an animal. Wow! It's durable, natural and expensive. You can see scars, growth marks and wrinkles on full grain. Then there's... Corrected or top grain. It's the top layer, sanded and refinished. Your purse, your wallet, chances are it's top grain. Last and least, there's split leather. It's the bottom layer of the hide. It's the cheapest and most fragile. <gasps> split leather isn't good for furniture, but it's okay for things that aren't expected to last more than a season or two. Oh, I see you came back for me. Uh, no, my leather jacket. <laughs> And of course, there's a lot of people out there who don't want real leather. Murderer! And it's not just for animal rights reasons. The tanning process of leather can be incredibly toxic on the environment, as many tanneries use harmful carcinogenic chemicals, like chromium, which is sometimes pumped back into the water table, generating large amounts of sludge and contaminated wastewater. Which is bad for, you know, trees. Leather can also have a human cost, with working conditions in some tanneries strongly criticised by human rights groups. Makes your first job at the Macca's deep fry look like a goddamn holiday. Get back to work! Yes, boss! <laughs> but if the real thing is what you're looking for, first of all, don't buy these. Pleather, Leatherette, PVC, Artico, Man-Made Leather, Maztex, MBTex, Leather Look, Alcantara, Biothane, Berkebuk, Berkefloor, Clarino, Kydex, Lorica, Norgahide, Rexine, Vigatan, Fabricoid, Ultra Suede. They're all fake leather. <gasps> then check the price. Excuse me, how much You is can't this? afford it. Actual leather won't be cheap. Then look closely at the markings. Manufactured leather is often marked with a repetitive fake paw pattern, whereas natural leather has blemishes and creases, just like human skin. Speak for yourself, doll. Then try smelling it. Imitation hide often has a strong chemical or plastic odour to it. The best way to test for natural leather is to set it on fire, as it won't melt easily. But not all stores endorse this practice. 
So remember, when you're shopping for leather, ignore any vague descriptive terms like luxury and ask exactly what you're getting. <laughs> Has 100% leather been used on every part of this product? Yes, I promise, it's a corrected grain. Murderer! If you feel you've been misled when shopping for leather, then the person who sold it to you could be in breach of the consumer law and you may be eligible for a refund. And you wouldn't be the first person to have been misled, remember? Corinthian leather, of course, why not the best? That was actually a term invented by a copywriter for Chrysler's blend of leather and vinyl. So remember, just because something looks and sounds fancy doesn't mean that it is. Yeah. Oh, thank f for that.